there's no surprise in the hike it was largely on the expected line even though bankers and companies and some of the economists and analysts were against it but uh, market had already priced in the hike that's the reflection of uh, 10 year bond deal today has shown it has not yet gone up it's not gone up it's actually dropped um, of course, it will make money more expensive, but you know the, the Diwali season is on, so bankers are not uh, will not rush to hike their loan rates. Uh, they did not pass on the hike uh, to the consumer last time, so I don't think they can absorb two consecutive hikes. So uh, yes, uh, money will become costlier for consumers, for borrowers, be it retail or individual or uh, corporates, but it will take a while, maybe maybe 10 days to two weeks. I think market has is reading the RBI statement and the policy stance more closely uh, than the hike itself. It has given a sort of guidance that RBI has come um, very close to the end of the rate hiking cycle. Uh, but the document did say that uh, barring uh, you know uh, unforeseen circumstances, uh, there won't be any uh, any hike in December. Uh, so it's sort of uh, soothing the market, frayed nerves of the market, and telling the market, yes, Reserve Bank of India is coming very close to the rate hike cycle, possibly the last hike. But if you remember, last year also around the same time this happened, but inflation did rise beyond what RBI had calculated, and RBI had to go for yet another hike. So it's a pause. RBI has given a sense that it is closely watching and it may not hike anymore. And if all the assumptions are correct in terms of um, inflation, then it, it could be the last of the rate hikes. Uh, bankers were apprehensive, they were resisting, but the Bank of India has gone ahead. For the past one decade, RBI has been talking about deregulation of savings rate. Now they have done it, which means now every rate, barring NRI, a few deposit rates, everything else is free. In the short term, we'll find rate where some of the smaller banks like uh, ES Bank, which has a very low savings rate uh, deposit base, will will hike their rates to try to customers. Bigger banks like PNB, State Bank of India, HDFC, ICICI, they will be hurt. Uh, stock bank, uh, sorry, their stocks have shown that uh, people are selling their stocks. But eventually, banks will find ways how to manage and keep the customers. We will see innovation, so people will be given higher deposit rates, uh, provided they go for, say, ATM or um, other channels like phone banking or, or uh, internet banking, branch banking will be discouraged. So we will see innovations. This is an acid taste of Indian banking industry how mature they are, bank will find ways to tackle it, but for the short term, maybe one quarter or two quarters, we'll see some kind of rate war and uh, bank's, bank's cost of money going up, but ultimately, it's freeing the rate, it's not going up, so rates will go up, rates will go down, and bank will manage their um, liabilities in a proper way.